Gail Sibley here, and I am with Duane Wakeham at the IAPS convention. Duane, I've heard you talk about the anatomy of a painting. Can you tell us a bit about what you mean by that? Yeah, the anatomy of a painting is the abstract underpinning of the painting. It's basically a two-dimensional design. I say you start out with the four edges of your paper or whatever you're working on. Those are the first four lines of the composition. You make a mark, and that, that's what Hans Hoffman said, that every mark you make changes the condition of, the, of what you're working on. But, uh, so, my paintings start out as just a diagram, which is a series of lines, horizontal, vertical, diagonals, what have you, to create a satisfying a balance, I think, of shapes. And then those shapes start, color starts being added to them. And I always have defined painting as an arrangement of shapes and colors. Start building those shapes. I know in my mind, you know, in background, that it's going to be a landscape. I you know, I know that something's going to be a tree, but as long as it's just a shape, then it's far easier to, to change it, move it, eliminate it, do whatever is necessary. Once you start getting into the detailing of it, then you're you're very reluctant to uh, to give it up, and it doesn't always fit with the rest of the painting. I try. I work all over the painting at the same time. Uh, trying to get then a balance of shapes and colors, and then once that I'm satisfied with that, then I just start uh, doing what, whatever I feel is necessary uh, to uh, complete it. And then, as I've always said, that I, I try to make every square inch of the painting interesting, but not equally important. Okay, thank you.